everybody, all right, my name is Soleil. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a brand I came across on Amazon called Anthony's. They are known for a variety of things such as their coconut flour, almond flour, powdered fiber. Today I'm gonna to be talking about their powdered cheese because I decided to make a keto macaroni and cheese. All right, so this is the product right here. As you can see, hopefully it will zoom in. Let me see, there it goes. I forget how much I paid for this, but I'll go ahead and I'll post on, uh, on the bottom where I'll post the Amazon link along with going straight to the site um, where you can get this. So this is one pound and for the most part it has pretty good ingredients. It's got cheddar cheese, it's got whey butter, it's got buttermilk, it's got salt, it's got, um, it's got a preservative, and then it's also got a natto, color, a natto extract for color. So overall, it's pretty good ingredients. Um, it does have four carbs and it does have total sugars of four grams. So if you're trying not to have a lot of carbs and maybe four carbs is a lot to you or four grams of sugar is a lot, you might want to steer clear of this. Otherwise, for me personally, in moderation, I think this is okay. So um, they say on the back, you can use this for a variety of things. You can use it for putting on popcorn. You can use it for putting on vegetables. So there are an array of things you can do with this. All right, I am going to try my pasta that I created. I tried um, Ganuda pasta, which I did a video on a couple videos back. I'll put a link to that at the end of my video if you wanna check that out. Um, I took a bunch of uh, recipes from various sites online just to kind of create my own little thing. So I'll put down below what I used, but there are so many ways you can make macaroni and cheese. It's, you know, it's really up to you, so. All right, let me try this. I made my sauce a little too thick. It's more like a queso, but let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I like that. It's good. I can definitely taste like that, um, like almost like that Kraft cheese type flavor coming through with the Anthony's, so definitely happy that I purchased this. I'm happy, definitely happy. Um, I put a bunch of stuff in it, like I said, like I put cream cheese in it, I put regular cheddar cheese, there's other flavors going on inside of it, but I can definitely taste this cheese coming through and I definitely dig it. So um, definitely suggest this if you're craving macaroni and cheese and you're on keto, um, check Ganuda out, check this out. I think that you can definitely imitate the real thing with these two. Um, before I go, I just wanted to say, I bet a few people ask me if I check my ketones or my blood sugar levels, you know, based off of like trying products like this. I do not. I tried it one day, I ordered the little monitors and I sat there trying to stick myself and I couldn't stick myself. Granted, I have a bunch of piercings. I have a whole bunch of tattoos. I can definitely handle some pain, but for some reason, poking my finger, like I cannot do it. So, um, I'm not the one for giving you those stats. Um, however, though, there are so many videos of people, you know, checking their stats so you can easily find people that will, uh, you know, look over products like these and they will check their glucose and their ketones for you. So just thought I'd share that because I have come across a few people that asked me about it and I'm like, nah, not for me. So I am going off of how much weight and how many inches I've lost. I plan on doing a video here in the near future Mm, you like a month or two. I'll give it the end of December. Uh, showing you guys where I started and then where I am at that point. So far though, being on keto, also eating, I guess you could say, kind of like un-keto-ish keto foods, like all the, the sweets, all the different things are considered like higher carbs. Um, I have lost over 30 pounds in the last four months and I started off at a size 38 waist. I'm now down to like a 32 and a half waist. So, you know, something's working for me. So, all right, I plan on doing some more videos next week. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I'll see you guys next time.